How's it going guys, it's Fisayo here, back with another unboxing and review and this time we're looking at the Infinix Hot 10 Play. This phone launched in the early part of 2021 and is supposed to be a more affordable version of the Infinix Hot 10. We're going to see my experience with this device over the month I've had it and my thoughts about using it, essentially what you should look out for before you buy. If you're new here, welcome to this review, do support the channel by hitting that like button so more people can see this review and stick around to the end to get all of the details details about this device. Without further ado, let's get to the video. As far as the unboxing experience, you get the usual Infinix green as you can see on their quite popular budget devices. Taking the wrap off the Infinix Hot Template and opening the box ushers you into the smartphone itself. As evident here, you get the main highlights or the specs that Infinix wants you to latch on. 6000mAh battery which is a lot, 6.82 inch HD plus display, 8 megapixel front facing camera, Helio G25 processor and a 13 megapixel dual camera setup on the back. We'll be dissecting all of these in a bit but let's put the phone aside and look at the rest of the items in the box. You do get the customer service card for situations that you hopefully want to avoid. On the smaller box you get the same ejector tool attached and when you open it you see the Xpark e-commerce card a brand of Infinix so you can potentially shop more brands. You also get the invite card that looks like a dollar note, I think it's cute and hey, if anyone can scan the code and use it, feel free to do so, good branding on here. You also get the screen protector and the plastic case that has these lines and they look quite nice when you wear them on the phone. I use the phone like this for the most part of the month and more days that I've had it. As far as the other accessories in the box, we get the charging cable, headphones and a regular Infinix charger. For a 6000mAh battery device, we could have gotten a high watt charger but for the price tag, which will come to later in this video, it's a thing to consider. Taking the wrap off the phone, we get the gigantic and tall 6.82 inch display. On the back, we see the pattern on this blue blue color which Infinix call the agent blue with the arrow like patterns that move from a higher and darker shade of the same color. I've not seen this before in any smartphone but it looks really nice on this one. Speaking of colors, we've got the agent blue, the morandi green, obsidian black and 7 degree purple very interesting names i must say this phone's back is made of polycarbonate or plastic material not the most premium but again ergonomic maybe even shutterproof on like glass but still i say it's quite cool for a budget device there's nothing at the top of the phone on the right side is where we get the power button and the volume rockers on the left side we can see the sim and micro sd card slot lastly on the bottom is where we get the microphone port the usb port and the headphone jack there is no visible speaker grill and during my use, after examining, I can hear sound coming out of the back and the front and all over the place. Better still, the device or sound vibrated through the back of the device. But the thing to note is that uh, a major, major part of the sound is channeled through the earpiece or the notch area of the phone and this will aid phone calls as well. Phone call quality was also pretty fair for me. After setting up the hot template, we immediately head into XOS 7 based on Android 10. For starters, this 6.82 inch display device is a really long phone. It's a tall phone, taller than the staple hot 10. Infinix markets this as the video display phone and also especially the battery life, which we'll come back to in a few minutes. The display of the hot 10 play is one of the interesting things to see. On the one hand, you've got an IPS LCD 720p display. Resolution is set at 720 by 1640 pixels at 263 ppi or pixel per inch, which is on a medium to lower scale for most devices. With regards to the brightness, it's on the same level with the 440 nits of brightness, and it's got a decent 82.4% screen to body ratio, even slightly higher than the Hot 10. I've watched a lot of videos on this device and I felt it was decent to watch, you know, watching with the device. This is a 720p display and thanks to YouTube, many smartphones can watch an even higher quality regardless of the display size. Like I could watch 4K on the phone I previously reviewed on this channel at this time and this time you are capped at 1080p for video streaming on the Infinix Hot 10 Play. The sound like I mentioned beams out of the upper side or the earpiece slash notch area of the phone because there's no speaker grill. So there's that. Also the chain on this device is quite prominent. When it comes to text based or heavy text field pages to read, 
I found it on par with a lot of phones I've used and you know when it comes to the color processing it was a little blue but nothing distracting and you can fix that with the eye care option at reduced intensity but then again it's not bad it's very good to look at if you want something better you can also get to dark mode or dark theme overall the display usage as well as typing experience was good for me after a while of using the hot 10 play of course uh, after one month plus i started to notice some micro scratches on the hot 10 place case yeah, again it's plastic and if it comes in contact with sand or coarse slash rough surfaces it will definitely get little scratches here and there i put this in my bag a lot i put it in my pouch a lot and the scratches are present on the case but you know not on the phone as i don't like to use my phones without a case the phone is decently slim and weighted in the hand it uh it fell once but nothing happened to it at all uh, at least with the case on it always use a case guys the front is made of glass and the back is made of plastic as i mentioned uh same as the frame the frame is also made of plastic so you know that this is a somewhat uh fairly rugged device if it falls you're pretty much okay overall i had no issues with the build quality and for a price of less than 120 dollars it's not really a top concern for me uh, but it's not at all badly built i'd like to say my day-to-day -day use with the hot 10 play was splendid for the price but i also didn't like that there were a lot of ads on this device i think this is the most ads i've gotten on an infinix phone and it just randomly pops up here and there when i'm using the device uh, during the day but it's easy to give infinix some backlash you know when it comes to this but there are fan favorites like xiaomi that do this and get away with it it still doesn't make it cool though but hey money must be made for this device specifically there is no way to disable ads in the settings you can pretty much uninstall a lot of the bloatware or pre-installed apps on this device this should solve a major part of the problem with unwanted ads or unwanted notifications also since i've been using this phone i've only gotten the system updates uh once or twice i think which isn't necessarily a bad thing it's still android 10 however so there's that so the software remains android 10 based on or skinned by xos dolphin 7.0.0 uh, you've got a small 2 gig RAM and 32 gig storage which is expandable. Battery on here is 6000 milliamp hours and processing power is left at 2 gigahertz in that Octacom MediaTek Helio G25 system, uh, a gaming centric processor. Let's see how it performs. Infinix says that the Hot Play has 55.7 days of standby power which is, seems like something that I can check out. 155 hours of music playback, 53 hours of calling, and 13.8 hours of gaming. Of course, I use my phone for the most of these, but I didn't use it for all of that duration. When it comes to my Call of Duty sessions, first off, in terms of graphics, Call of Duty doesn't go past the first level of graphics, and the frame rates are high. There are, I believe, four or five levels of graphics, and for a five, you're looking at phones like the Samsung S21 Ultra. I did a one hour long gameplay set, and my battery went from 38% to 33% in 30 minutes and of course after one hour it went all the way down to 19% uh, after one hour of gameplay but for the device to lose almost 20% of battery life in one hour of gameplay if we do the math it should take slightly over five hours of gameplay to kill the battery from 100% instead of 13.8 hours as infinix claims however keep in mind that the call of duty is a 3d very graphically intense game unlike uh Altos odyssey which is my second favorite game that will take way less battery of course it's a big 6000 milliamp hour battery capable of 10 watt charging and it did charge from zero to 100 percent in just over two hours but then again it's a big battery and charging won't be super fast because that's a lot to fill up with a 10 watt charger you've got the usual face unlock and fingerprint reader and it's not an on-screen fingerprint reader but rather a physical one on the back it vibrates when you tap it and it's faster than face unlock face unlock was also just fine now when it comes to the cameras the hot 10 play shares a similar 8 megapixel camera from the regular hot 10 which is the main device in this lineup but it differs from that because here we have an led flash which should help with taking selfies in the dark or you know serves as an indicator when you're charging this device this front camera also tops at 1080p for video so you know it's just standard hd or what infinix calls hd plus on the back there's quite a distinction from the hot 10 we've got only a main 13 megapixel camera at f1.8 aperture and what looks like a 2 megapixel or vga camera however it's an accompanying camera for portrait mode or bokeh mode to aid the main 13 megapixel camera i know this because i blocked it when i tried to take a portrait or bokeh shot and it detected that i was covering the lens so that's your value 
the rest of the circles are kind of a clever disguise for the quad flash and the AI inscription to make it look like four or three cameras, but it's neatly designed. 8 megapixel selfies on the Infinix Hot Template was not the most flattering. There was quite a high noise presence. I also changed angles and it was almost the same for both indoor and outdoor shots. Although the outdoor shots have significantly less noise due to the multiple angles and dominance of light. Where there was a lot more noise uh, was in the portrait mode shots. Of course, 8 megapixel is quite small now and with all the software effects and trying to blur the background and separate a human figure from the background, it starts to show a lot of image processing artifacts, both you know, in trying to smoothing and sharpening the image. There's also a wide selfie mode that I usually found hard to capture, but I did get some wide images with the front camera, a little glitch and a little overexposure here and there. Under the right lighting, the hot template is a good product or object shooter. When we head outside, we see some differences about the shots it's almost like it's too sharp even or you know it maintains a decent amount of background blur and one thing about these budget cameras is they are sort of on par performance with enough light with regards to shots of buildings you do get a very decent image and i had no complaints on that front i walked a little closer and i could even get better shots of the buildings the highest you can go with regards to zoom is 4x, keep in mind there's no zoom lens on here. It retains a decent amount of detail as well as text. I also pointed the camera at 4x on greenery and it did well. At night you get a couple of things. You get somewhat smoothing image due to lack of light. When you get up close, you would need to have stable hands to get the best out of the image. I also tried pointing it into almost pitch black of course and the areas without light will be very very dark but also lit areas as I mentioned would get softened again because of lack of light. Similar results are seen in landscape shots at night, softness and this time the introduction of a little noise to aid sharpness. That is for the 13 megapixel camera and when we scale back to the selfie camera at night, we see the same combination of softness and noise to aid the sharpening but this time it's on a larger scale. When you are in video mode, the maximum you can shoot is 1080p of course and it looks fair. The only thing that you see is the fact that it's not got image stabilization. You can also get slow motion footage from the back camera except that it's a 480p video, very small in quality and size and you know as of today's standards, the output still looks fair you know when you consider the focus and the slow motion effects. I feel like this is something that if you want to post maybe like an Instagram story with a black and white filter. The same thing with softness and noise applies when it comes to recording videos at night. It's just somewhat clear enough to see some details when there's enough light. Though the noise and the softness sort of reduces but it's not by any significant amount. How's it going guys? So this is the front facing camera of the Infinix Hot 10 Play. Let me know what you think about the front facing camera's visual quality that you see here right now as well as the sound quality that you hear. Let me know in the comment section down below. That's it for the Hot 10 Play guys. Is this device worth 54,500 Naira or $112? It's kind of something to think of at this point. Many great smartphones with fairly decent specs are already dropping in price. You'll see that for the same specs you get a somewhat mid-range phone in 2021 at a low price, you could have gotten that same phone for a much higher price in the past few years. Let me know if there's anything I missed uh, from the Infinix or Temple in the comment section below. Is there any question you'd like to ask? Let me know in the comment section below. Do consider giving this video a thumbs up if you found it interesting and consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the bell icon beside it so you'll be the first to know when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the very next video.